Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwalben's Nest. Thanks for joining me today. I know topiary trees are all the rage and I thought I would try and make something a little more updated. I've seen a lot of them with hanging blossoms or hanging greenery to look more like a real tree instead of just the ball. So I thought I would give it a try. This is a medium sized styrofoam ball, probably about the size of a tennis ball. And I'm using Americana gel stain in the color Walnut and a really rough brush. And I'm just going to mimic some wood grain on this styrofoam ball. I just want it to be camouflaged underneath the greenery. The stick I'm holding it with is just a stick for now until I get everything figured out. I'm just going to remove the handles off of this galvanized pot and it does leave holes but I'm going to take care of that later. My idea for this pot was to make it look like it's terracotta so I'm using this honey brown paint. It looks a little brighter here but it's more of a brownish orange color and I'm going to just give this one coat all the way around. I grabbed this stick from my garden. Now I did pick a lot of these stems from an old maple tree that was getting cut down and I did this in the fall so I have a lot of these stems in my garage just waiting for projects like this. I'm going to go ahead and trim off all those little branches that I don't need. I have removed the flower stem from the styrofoam ball and I used a screwdriver to make the hole a little bit bigger and now I'm just pushing the wood stem into it and then hot gluing it to keep it secure. I'm going to start by using this vine. This came from Dollarama last year and every once in a while they do have some out but I really love this one because it's light and airy and really flowy and I think it'll be perfect for what I'm going for. I wasn't quite sure what kind of format I wanted the branches to hang but I did know that I wanted a long one in the front so that's what I'm doing here that'll be my first one with styrofoam you have to make sure that you hang on to the stem until the hot glue dries otherwise it just pulls right off I'm taking a piece of vine that has a wire in it and I'm going to bend it around in an arch I want some of the branches to kind of be hanging from the top down sort of like a willow branch anyway I think you'll get the idea once you see what I'm doing I'm going to go ahead and push that into the top of the ball and then just form it to make sure that it's hanging where I want it to be I'm going to add a few more of these rounded pieces so I can get the general shape and then I'm going to start filling it in Here's where I decided that I didn't really want that many of these little purple blossoms. So I just started to take them off of some of the stems. And then I even removed some of them from the stems that were already on the ball. When you're working with hot glue and styrofoam, you wanna be very careful that you don't put too much hot glue because that will melt the styrofoam and then your piece will fall apart. So I always had to just hold the stem in place until the hot glue dried just to make sure that it was going to stay. And of course as always make sure you're using something to hold the hot glue and not your fingers so you don't get burned. For some of the stems that I wanted to hang at the bottom more and if they didn't have a wire in them I used a bamboo skewer to make a hole, added a little bit of hot glue and then pushed the stem right inside the hole and this seemed to work really well. I continued adding stems and pieces all the way around the ball, adding some filler pieces and trying to camouflage the brown of the ball as much as I could. I did want to see a little bit through, that's why I did it brown to begin with, but I wanted to make sure that it was mostly covered. Most topiaries don't have multiple types of greenery, but I thought it needed a little bit something special with it. So I've got this sort of I'm not even sure what this is. It's just some kind of greenery. It might be like a parsley or something like that. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and just remove some of the little stems and add those in as filler pieces. And if you take a look at that topiary right now, it's looking pretty scary. It kind of looks like a messy doll head with the hair just sticking out all over the place or maybe bedhead like me in the morning. 
styling greenery is really a lot of personal preference. It's what you like to add to it. So what I'm doing is just taking some of these smaller stems now and filling them in. And I'm going to continue looking at the ball at from all angles and make sure that it's looking good and nice and full. Here it is looking much better. It's a lot fuller. What I'm doing is just adding some of these little vine pieces where I still see a little bit of a gap from the styrofoam ball. So I'm just going to go ahead and place some of these shorter pieces in all throughout. And if you're looking really closely to this, you'll notice that all of those tiny little purple flowers have disappeared. I decided to remove them completely. I just wasn't liking the look of the purple with the green. So here are all those little purple blossoms. I decided to give them a spray paint with just some flat white paint. And I'm going to do the back and the front, just two coats, just a few of them. I don't want too much flowers on this topiary, but I thought a little bit of white might look pretty. Now I'm going to add the little blossoms back in. I've got about a dozen, I think, and I'm just going to add them from the midpoint down and just try and space them out evenly. To finish the pot, I'm going to go ahead and use a kitchen sponge with some antique white craft paint. And I'm just going to sponge all the way around the pot and cover it up. However, I do want some of that orange to still peek through. Next, I'm using a light gray color. This is the Parisian gray from Folk Art. And I have washed my sponge in between because I didn't want this to have any orange on it. I wanted it to be just the pretty gray color. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to sponge around on it, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter. I do want some of that orange and some of that antique white to still peek through again. It's turning out sort of concrete, sort of terracotta, sort of stone. So I'm really not sure what to call it, but I really love the effect and how it turned out in the end. Because you'll see a little bit of the inside of the pot, I'm just using the rest of the gray paint that I had poured out and going down about two inches into the interior of the pot. Then I added just a little bit more of the orange on top in a few places just to bring out more of the terracotta color. I had this stencil left over from a decal that I cut out for a different project. And when I cut out the decals, I really try hard to keep the outside of it because it's a perfect stencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on and use the dark gray and just sponge it on. It turns out so pretty. I did the same thing on both sides. Now comes the fun part, trying to figure out how to get the topiary to stand nice and firm inside the pot. I'm using some hot glue and this is just some styrofoam that I had left over from a really large styrofoam ball. I just cut it up into a few pieces and I'm going to hot glue them all in. I used a screwdriver to poke a hole big enough in the styrofoam so I could push the stem down. I also secured it with some hot glue and then added some vase filler that I have hanging around to give it a nice firm hold so it won't tip over. Now I'm just going to fill in the remainder with some of this green moss. I usually don't like working with moss because it makes such a mess, but it just makes sense for a topiary. I'm going to use some hot glue and just put it down onto the styrofoam and then press the moss in place. I also decided to add a couple of rows of the Dollar Tree nautical rope. This is the thicker one that is a lighter white color. And I did miss the footage on this, so I do apologize, but I think it turned out sweet.
thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video today. I really appreciate your support. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Those two black arrows will show you exactly where to click. Bye for now.